Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Alright, let's go back through the rooms now that it's nighttime, starting at the front of the cars, more specifically the engine room, just so I can show you the sights, I guess you could say, and see if there's any new dialogue, because as you know, as time passes, new stuff happens along the way. Oh, and I noticed I forgot something in this room here. On the second day, there will be a brief stop at Riverside Station for refueling, followed by the arrival at our final destination of Poshley Heights on Day 3. Also over here, you can check the console. This is the train's operation console. There are many small switches and levers here. I don't think there's anything... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, same thing, okay. Driving at night is so mysterious, what with the lights and bugs and whatnot. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Alright, I'll see you later, Balrog. <laughs> Uh, I love cave story. Alrighty. Let's go to room number one. By the way, as you can see, uh, there's a different scene. Oh, well, you know, it, I mean, it's the same sort of scene, except it's nighttime now. You can also see your reflection in the glass, which I think is pretty nice. Also, if your partner jumps up there, you can see their reflection as well. Hey, guy, getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? Don't I know it? Yes, indeedly do, Zip Toad. Yes, indeedly do. Room two, gold earring lady. I mean, uh, gold ring. Yep. You'll help. Me, you'll help me find my gold ring. Oh, thanks ever so. Yeah, that. There's a gold ring and shell earrings. I kind of mixed them together there <laughs> somehow. All right. So now, now room number three here. This is where things start getting interesting. I heard some noise in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. When I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Okie dokie, Loki. I mean Elvis. I mean, I'll forget it. <laughs> so, room number four. Yeah. Nope, doesn't appear to be anything here. But maybe, maybe we could get some assistance in figuring out this puzzle here. Hmm... <gasps> it's a ghost. Oh, you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Uh, oh, well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize I'm a ghost. <laughs> a yummy, sticky thread? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. <laughs> what? You just want a bl blanket then? Yeah, well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts. I see. That is your choice. But then I can't tell you where the blanket is. Alright, I'll help you. Yes, yes, I'll help. Fine, fine. All I need is... Your life! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I passed away in this cab many years ago, but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I've kept since my earliest childhood days, and my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you f please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you what a blanket is. Please find my diary in the baggage car if you bring it a blanket. Is. All right. So, baggage car... And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. Oh yeah, we better not read his diary. Uh, but, so, okay. Now we gotta go over to the baggage car. And wait, what am I... I should actually have Goombella out to have her do some tattles. This is a passenger car. Orange and brown decor. Is that actually... looks good. The passenger cabins here are number three, four, and five. In case you forget your numbers. <laughs> All right, kitchen, dining hall, whatever you want to call it. It's actually both in one. This is the dining car. There also seems to be a cute little shop here. Dining and shopping while watching scenery go by. Talk about heavenly. Um, welcome to the dining car. You're just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. I think she's actually singing. That's why the text is like that. So maybe she's not an obnoxious teenager. She's just making. Uh, lyrics to stuff. I don't know. I, I forgot to talk to you. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the. Uh, no, I did. Oh, oh, doors. Okay. Yeah, I did uh, check that before, I think. 
So, well, I mean, I, I got that dialogue before, I think, is what I'm saying. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I did these rooms before. Let's see what Goombella has to tattle. This is a passenger car. The blue and brown interior here is totally chic. The passenger cabins here are numbered 6, 7, and 8. But you knew that. Yep. Alright, baggage car. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Ah! And you won't get me to bike unless you get his diary for the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. <laughs> I suppose that is true. Alright, so here we are in a new place. This is the freight car. Usually passengers aren't allowed back here. Looks like there are lots of bags here ready to be unloaded at the next stop. Indeed. So, where could a diary be in this place anyway? Huh. Look at this little gap between the crates. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, a ragged diary! It says I shouldn't read it, so let's not read it. Let's just go back over to the cabin without reading it whatsoever. Did you find the diary? Wonderful! I know you would! No, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Okay. Though I would like to see what's written in it. You'll never know, because none of us are going to open that diary ever. And I mean ever. I mean, who would open a diary and read it? That just sounds like a ridiculous thing to do, you know, dr going into someone's private thoughts and, you know, doing such a thing. Hmm. That seems perfectly fitting to do for a walkthrough. So first, save your game before you try this, because something funny will happen when you do. <laughs> um, here we go, Ragged Diary. Uh, uh oh. What if I say absolutely not? Nope. Nothing happens. Just wanted to check that. Alright, Ragged Diary. Let's read it. Oh, sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh, sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. You understand me. Oh, sure, what the heck. <laughs> Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on the train today, and on that train... <gasps> you looked! Even though I told you not to... Now see what happens. We died. <laughs> yeah, he quite literally kills you if you open the diary and try and take a peek at it. <laughs> so it takes you back to the title screen here. Let's uh, check out the save file, see how long we've been playing so far in this walkthrough. I've been playing for 23 hours and 4 minutes. Alright, back to the save file. Oh, and that game over screen also appears when you die in battle as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a quote-unquote official game over screen, I suppose. Anyway, uh, number four here. Did you find my diary? Here you go. I didn't read it at all. <laughs> yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. Woo! Did he just hand me the blanket? And how did he grab his diary? If I mean, if you know, because he can't touch physical stuff, and yet he got his diary back and he gave me the blanket or I don't know how this worked <laughs> you're very wise not to read my diary friend yes I didn't read it at all <laughs> <laughs> if you had read it you might be a spirit like me now but now I can go peacefully on from this world thank you so much you will probably never meet me again in this world fairly well Up to toad heaven he goes. Or not. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper is so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. <laughs> I can't leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. I like how the music still goes all dark and spooky. Uh, when you're talking to him, even though you found out that he's kind of friendly anyway. <laughs> well, aside from the fact that he'll kill you if you read his diary. So, I mean, as friendly as a character like that can be, I guess. <laughs> well, people are so great. Same self. Alright. I think I'm going to do the 
uh, check the tattles for the next couple of rooms here. Like I didn't do, didn't do the tattle in this room. There's not a lot of any rooms to see, which is why I kind of feel obligated to do that. This is a passenger car. The green and brown colors actually work here. Wow. Cabin, there, I mean, there are two passenger cabins here. Numbers one and two. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Pretty simple. She's pretty much telling us what we've already seen because, you know, you've been through these a couple of times already. All right, engine room. This is the engineer's car, the XS Express. Any kid would love to see this. Look at me, Mario. I'm an engineer. Woo -woo. Hey, but driving a train is really nothing to joke about. I totally respect engineers. Anyway, I think it's time we go back in our room and have ourselves a little nap. I'm sure. Because at this moment in time, you can't really do anything more than this. So, just take your nap. You've recovered your HP and flower points. And, oh wait, maybe? Did I do this a little bit too early? Because it was I thought I was supposed to transition to uh, the next day. I thought, maybe I'm supposed to go back to Pennington first. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see what... Um, I, I might have forgot the order of things here. I always seem to forget the order of things in this chapter. I've been doing fairly decent on it so far. The unticketed peasant... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to talk to him. Okay, because I got to report the findings to him. The unticketed passenger was a ghost. Oh, my heater just turned on. No! Why do I always forget to turn that dang thing off? Arr. Anyway, the unticketed passenger was a ghost. My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? <laughs> Hmm. Nope, doesn't believe us whatsoever. Uh, anyway, let's see what he has to say. So, Mr. Mario, how'd it go? Blanket. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mishish maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. A mushroom. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. Ah, here we go. This is the point where you gotta go back to your bed to sleep. Okay. Guess you absolutely have to take the blanket back. My bad! I thought you could, I thought you could do it afterwards, but I guess not. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you... Okay, same thing. So, let's go sleep. Oh, the shop is closed. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. What if I needed to buy stuff? I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, traitor's tongue. I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. <laughs> the kitchen is closed. Oh, everything's closed. You know, actually, I wonder... Do you think there's something different in here now? Me? Sleep? No, I don't get tired. Ghosts are just like that, I guess. <laughs> so, can't touch stuff, don't need to sleep. I think, I'm, I, think I need a midnight, midnight stack. Is that dining car still open? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> ah, I just feel so obligated to... Uh, check all the dialogue at this point because you know once you get past a certain point then you can't go back and check more of it uh, Time for my beauty sleep staying up late causes wrinkles, you know See like that that dialogue was different. I kind of felt like I needed to uh, go and check it out I'm feeling totally wrong out guy. It's hard being famous. Let me tell you <laughs> uh, Engineer how about the engineer? Let's see what he has to say about the night hours bring the midnight oil. An engineer is neither night nor day. There's only the long, lonely track stretching to the horizon. Ah, uh, indeed. Oh, I got a couple more cabins to check. Namely, these back cabins here. Let's start with six. I see. So it's not, yet, in fact, our yummy st sticky suspect. Just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It's getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Okay, but I've got two more rooms to check for dialogue. <laughs> so not quite yet. Oops. It has been hard keeping night watch lately. It was a piece of cake when I was young. Mm. Alright, Bob-omb family! This could be the most interesting 
dialogue. Perhaps. Good gracious. I just noticed there are only two beds in here. Does that mean I'm to share a bed with the wife? Do they not know she explodes regularly in her sleep? I demand a refund. <laughs> Why, there are only two beds. I suppose I'll share the bed with Bob. Dear Gold Bob's night sweats are repugnant. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely worth going back for the dialogue. It's time for sleepies. Dad says ghosts come out if you stay up late. Nah, there are no such things at... Oh, wait. <laughs> Alright, now let's go sleep. Because, you know... We checked all the rooms, there's nothing else more that we can do at this moment in time. So, I'm, I'm getting tired here, I gotta hit the hay. Oh, I'm just barely gonna make it to the bed. Oh. Ah, here we are. Yeah, let's just leave everything else to the conductor and get some shut-eye, okay Mario? Okie dokie. Free bed and recovery. Train voyage. Day two. Remember, this is three days of excess. Hmm. 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 Now, what do we do today? Well, let's start by going over to Pennington. No. Let's start by checking our mail. <laughs> uh, RDM issue five. I broke for today. Local mystic Merlu V, age 25, was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to spokespersons for the hospital, Merlu V suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion f caused by a wild binge of on eight shroom steaks. <laughs> the divine diviner ex exclaimed that her aurora was brimming with the power of steak. <laughs> But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the cat gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. <laughs> That's true. Chop reporter, go! This time, let's head to Keel Hall Galleria. We are proud to toast the toasty, uh, entrepreneurial spirits shown by the ma managerial's team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor and former flight fan, so call me the Invincible Shopmaster. From now on, I'm 100% serious. Print that. <laughs> and then they did, because here it is. We wish him all the success that he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. I'm pretty sure they should have edited out that print that part, but whatever. <laughs> Cooking for rookies. Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's dish is, that, is a single serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir and bake. Try that, teammate. I mean, try that at tea time, rookies. It's teammate, oh jeez. What am I saying? I, I mean, what was I thinking there? <clears throat> Editor's note. Thanks for reading the best rag in the land. See you next issue. And usual publishing message. So, anyway. Good morning. So, any chance of you seeing my shell earrings anywhere? Nope, I'm sorry. Yet. I haven't found them yet, I mean. Hello, it's a good feeling day. Isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I, I, I... That will make food so delicious. It will make the day mad. <laughs> and shopkeep toad never seems to have anything new to say. <laughs> so let's just move on from that. All right, Pennington, new day. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Uh, okay, here, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job, at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi, very slowly. Uh, of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. That sounds awesome. Used properly, it is an amazing product that can even revive the dead. Oh, the person in car 4 could really use that. <laughs> but if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are EXPLOSIVE! The resulting glue blast would immobilize everything, everyone here in a sticky, yet yummy shellac. <gasps> that sounds like the dangerous perpetrator on the loose. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. 
<laughs> like that pacing he's doing. Oh, you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. No! You think, Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Aha. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. I have spoken with them. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Tootles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they can make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. There is but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. Yeah, must apprehend the suspect before this dash. Same dialogue. Oh no, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. All right, we gotta get looking. This is where the uh, guy was at one time. You know, the guy in the other. It's a passenger car. The blue brown interior here is totally chic. The passenger cabins here are numbered six, seven, and eight. Put you that. Yeah, yeah. So that was the same dialogue as it was from the uh, uh, outside, basically. Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. <laughs> well, Bob sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. I bet I know why. <laughs> hey, conductor. You know anything about this? Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no suspicious, uh, no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today. Around dusk, I believe. Okay. So, it doesn't appear to be any oddities going around here. At least, from the way things seem. Alright, we, let's see. Let's re-chat with these guys. Uh, nope, same dialogue. Did you see that zip toad came in last night's dinner? But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are a star. Well, movies and TV, pretty fake overall. <laughs> uh, that's our car. Ghost. Oh, maybe he went to the afterlife. Or not. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <coughs> good morning. Isn't the weather nice today? Days like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. Oh, I, I can. I think you would feel like that any day. <laughs> car three. Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? Still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to the incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Oh, that is good to hear. <laughs> I guess he must have heard, I mean, I guess they must have discussed how much he loved the stew and how much the chef was flattered and everything worked out in the end. That's awesome. Alright, another person that got stuff stolen. Why, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't go desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Well, haven't been able to find it yet. Yet is the key word. <gasps> 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 Vital paper. I think we must take it back to Pennington. Which is why I'm going to the engine car first. <laughs> I'd like to see what's going on over here. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? I'll be make a stopping at Rivers making a stop at Riverside Station today. You will love it, I assure you. I most certainly will. Maybe they have a a tourist shop for me to get something there. <laughs> Alright, anyway, gotta go back to Pennington. Remember, Zip Toad was also in car one, and we haven't seen him on the train. Anyway, we're back here. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Here's the vital paper. What is this paper? Hmm. What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, that's a lot of con contracts for my upcoming business deal. Jinkies! <laughs> what? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this important clue? In room one. Captain one, you say? Yes. Zip toes room. A place I have long suspected. 
You suspect everything. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. And perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. Hmm. Where could a zip toad be? I mean... We've been through all the cars. It seems kind of... Odd that a person could just like vanish like that. I mean, isn't there's no like hidden air vents or anything like that? Ah, same dialogue. I'm not gonna check the rest of them. Hey. This is the baggage car. As I believe you know, no passenger allowed. Hello. So, Zip Toad, where could he have gone to? Hmm. 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 Chef Shimmy, have you seen Zip Toad? Oh, no, same dialogue. Same. Wait, 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 wait. Um, nope. All she's saying is that he's better on the big screen like before. I would think that she, of all people, would be, you know, stalking him. <laughs> uh oh. Songs! Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Nothing here. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Get him! Zao, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Come back here, zip zone! Aha! Ouch! Alright, what's up? What have you been doing? Sunset time. So this was our man all along. Pretending to be zip toad, I see. All the while, pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm. Yes, this was all just as that hot as I had deduced. How could you possibly deduce that from all the stuff that's been presented? I don't... That's impossible! I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, the discolored nostril hair tipped me off. What?! And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it, too. If it wasn't for you meddling kids and that dumb dog. Uh, wait, 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 forget. That wasn't the line. What am I saying? By getting it all... By, by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people of this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yes. In any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Ugh. We got a briefcase, nitro honey syrup, gold ring, and shell earrings. Awesome sauce. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is the honey nitro syrup safe? Yep. Said it was inside. Weren't you reading that, that dialogue box? Oh, forget it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars, it's safe. No, I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with that disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of the deductions. You did nothing! <laughs> uh oh. Attention, all passengers. The train will soon make a brief stop, scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Hmm. And here we are, at the Riverside Station. Drawbridge is up, though. That's odd, we can't get across, then. Shouldn't the bridge be down unless there's something pa passing underneath the thing? I don't see any bolts coming. Hmm? Mm hmm? Hey, I think not, Slick. Think you can hold me? No way! Beldum would flip if I let that happen. Beldum! Ah! Dupless! This whole zip told thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, Dupless! Bellum's plan to goofy Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Bellum. See ya, suckers! And he gets away. <laughs> Admittedly, he's probably far more powerful um, than they are overall, so yeah, they, they really, truly couldn't hold him whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, let's check the other cars, see what's going up. Uh, going on. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Here you go. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, thank this, take this and that's my thanks. 
you get a star piece! Woohoo! That's the last one in the, on the XS Express, too. You're like the nicest old mustached overall wearing guy I've ever met. So it turns out Zipto was a fake, right? I told totally knew it. I knew something was just not right about that guy. So it looks like we've solved the mysteries of the train. <clears throat> Tonight we'll be having my super duper specialty, the mushroom full course. First the mushroom bullion, then a mushroom mousse, assorted roasted mushrooms. Mushroom and saffrons, a, a delicious but puzzling mushroom sorbet for dessert, and of course, we finish off with a mushroom coffee. Doesn't the coffee like come with the meal, like as a side drink or something like that. I don't. <laughs> anyway, room number six up. Oh, Pennington is off the train because you know he, you know he was kind of outside chilling. Well, he was gonna. Uh, take the suspect in, I suppose, but that failed. Thank you so much. And I lost that briefcase. If I had lost my briefcase and my job, my wife would have really had let me have it. <laughs> yes, the the biggest fear is by far the wife. Oh, look at this. Only one is in here. Well, Bob has gone outside. Who knew he liked trains so much? Hmm? Pay attention to your kid. And our stop the Riverside Station, Detective Mario. Let's just go outside and enjoy the nice fresh air. Later, I have more tricks. Tri well, I guess I was going to say uh, train cars to check, which is accurate. I don't know what the heck I'm... <laughs> That's what I stopped myself for there. Just one of those things of uh, brain farting. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Here we are. Number four with the ghost. Yo, you're, you're still out. We had Riverside already. There's a quiet pink drawbridge here from Pleasure Boats Cruise the Canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried and turned to pasture. Hmm. Then why would it be up? That's interesting. Car 3. Oh, he must be at lunch. You know, Elvis. <laughs> Alright. Cars 2 and 1. I mean, uh, places 2 and 1 here. Hmm. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery-sniffing master? I mean, yes we did, gold ring. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. 30 coins! And do take care. It's kind of like that. Troubles at the uh, trouble center. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Thank you for the service. Would you like to stay in Trent for a while? What sort of business do you have in Poshley Heights, may I ask? Um, hmm, hmm? Poshley Sanctum. To Poshley Sanctum, hmm? There's a very large painting there, you know. It looks big enough to swallow one hole, in fact. I'm going to my summer home in Poshley Heights. I must escape the bustle. You should stop in sometime, you courageous, wonderful detective you. Maybe you can tell me all about your adventures. Hunting the crystal star now. The crystal star. Hmm. Yes, it is a lovely gem, is it not? How do you know about that? It is displayed in the Poshley Sanctum, of course, as you well know. Hmm. I'm going to my summer home in Poshley Heights. I must escape the bustle. Yep, so, same dialogue after that uh, story was over. Room one. Uh, empty. Yeah, this was, of course, where uh, Zip Toad slash Dupless was in there. Well, actually, it is It is just Dupless, not Zip Toad. So it's not a slash, it's just Dupless. We stopped to refuel, sir. Why don't you take a walk outside, stretch your legs. The view from the train outside is just fabulous. That does sound like a good idea. So, I think I'm going to do that in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Yeah, I know I passed by the door, I'd just like to save my game. Actually, wait, I'll save back in the engine room. What was I thinking? I'm just derping all over the place now. <laughs>